War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. My turn, big guy. Let me just slide in here. Hey, at least it's honest work. I got so many flavors of mayhem for sale. Stick to the roads. And you got a better chance of surviving. Hey. So many guns and so little time. You just gotta buy them. Sure, let's take a look. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. Too many miles on the road. At least the pay is terrible. You should get inside the city. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gate. You want into Diamond City, right? Just traveling through. Shh. Play along. 
What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty Head on in that inside. paper of yours. I'll have that so, paper scrapped for parts. You're that traitor Piper was talking about. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Something tells me she's Tyrant pulled the wool Mayor over my eyes again. Press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Newspapers just like to stir up trouble. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. <laughs> mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. You're Sullivan, right? Hey, did I ever get the reason why you came to Diamond City? I need to write something for the logs. Not really your business. All right. Sorry I asked. Well, hello. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. A paper? Don't need it. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that before. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Mind your own business. Fine. Sorry for asking. Jeez. Piper, you're back. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Paper puts on quite a show, huh? This place is all kinds of strange. Well, I guess we are a little different. Most settlements in the Commonwealth don't have people yelling at the top of their lungs about the Institute. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. With everything I've been through, nothing scares me. That right. Huh. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? 
keeping my reasons to myself. Didn't mean to pry. You have a good one. Read the public and be prepared. Not sure which god I'm supposed to be praying to. Pastor says it doesn't matter. You should really talk to the pastor. Hello again. Hey, Scaver. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes, we get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Don't need anything today. <sighs> Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. Stay clear about you. 